Okay, so uh, this is my uh, dry bilge, arid bilge uh, setup. So you can pay $300 for the dry bilge. You can pay like $1,000 for the arid bilge. Um, but I found this on a Catalina forum. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, this little pump here costs about 20 bucks, and then you get all the vinyl tubing and uh, a little piece down here. You got a bucket set up. Um, so Link actually has you set it up this way. So we got some uh, quick disconnect fittings, little shark bite type fittings, a sponge, and a typical electrical wall plate, like an outlet wall plate. So uh, the sponge acts as like both a filter and a wet pickup. I got a bucket full of water here, and you could actually mount that in the bottom of your bilge in the low spot. If, of course, a boat probably has a, a bit of a chine somewhere, so you'd want to get it deep in the chine. You can even um, wrap this end in in a sponge material, like a, like a, a Scotch-Brite pad type of material, act as a filter, and then just simply run it straight down into the, into the chine. It'll work. A multitude of different ways but it really is shocking how dry the the bucket will get so I'm gonna start to pump up and uh, we'll just have it in research so that you can see the flow and uh, have an idea what the pump sounds like I got my battery over here get that started and I've already primed it so there's not too many bubbles but you can see the discharge flow there and then of course when it gets dry you see now she's just starting to suck up a bunch of air and a lot of bubbles so pretty pretty effective and just kind of toss it in there and now she's starting to pump water again I'm gonna take this hose and set it out off to the side just set it in the lawn and then uh, you can actually watch how quickly it it'll drain this bucket it's not Rip roaring fast. It's nothing I would, you know, trust the. I wouldn't try to save my boat with or anything, but for just getting that the remnants that the bilge pump didn't get, getting that out of the, out of the bilge, it, it seems like it works pretty effectively. Uh, it's a one gallon a minute pump. You can get slightly smaller pumps if you want. Um, you can also tee these, these hoses, these vinyl hoses off if you wanted to do more than one space if there were a couple of spaces in the area so it's starting to drain, suck a little bit of air but you know what that doesn't stop it it'll uh, especially if you mount this nice and hard down to the it doesn't have to be hard but if you mount it in a fixed location down against the bilge maybe a band strap or something like that um, and you can see it's sucking all that air but it's just not going to stop it just keeps on keeping on uh, the Catalina article actually talks about uh, using a 12 volt digital timer and it says they ran it for uh, two minutes every 12 hours so one gallon a minute and you're just sucking out the little the little remnants that the uh, the bilge pump didn't get you can see it's pretty dry now um, obviously uh, the bucket has a pretty flat bottom so it's not going to be able to get all of the lowest of low places but even as I'm saying that it's still drawing off real low remnants and we could even move this into like the little bit of puddle. We're on a little bit of a little bit of a hill, and uh, as it's as it's running, it's even drying out now. So they put it on a 12 volt timer. 12 volt timer was 10 bucks, 10 or 11 bucks. I don't have the timer wired in right now, but uh, that was um, well, the uh, the 12 volt timer was uh, 10 bucks and. You know, run it every two minutes or every six hours for two minutes, and not too much water left. You guys got any questions? Uh, appreciate you watching.